basically, um, when we are in meditation, those bodily sensations such as uh, heat, cold, hotness, tightness, softness, or maybe you feel uh, pricking, painful sensation, uh, those are the bodily sensation, the kaya nupasana. Whereas if it results in you liking it, disliking it, or maybe indifference to it, those liking it, disliking it, those, those feelings is uh, Vedana Nupasana. So, of course, if you note the pain, for example, but you do not have any likes or delight in it, then maybe the pain is just there, but you just don't feel it. So, what is the pain? Is the uh, pain Kaya or, or Vedana? Uh, the, the pain itself, if you see it, is actually uh, ka Kaya. Kaya is pain. Kaya. But if you feel uh, something towards it, like it or dislike it, then then it's Vedana. Then it's Vedana. Okay. You, you all agree with that? For me, pain is uh, Vedana. Okay. The physical sensation that you feel, maybe when you sit for too long, you know, uh, you get numb or you feel pain. That is uh, that is a uh, kaya lah. That one is an uh, element. But. Uh, in fact, there is no pain or no uh, pain or no uh, eh? no. Actually, there is pain <laughs> <laughs> because there is uh, kaya vidana, which is pain. Okay, but the liking and disliking itself is not feeling. It's more to uh, sanya, more to perception. How we perceive it, you know, whether we like it or dislike it. Just now in our discussion, we said if you meditate, uh, if your mind is calm enough, even though this feeling supposed to be painful, become pleasant. Because you can sit really long observing so-called the pain and uh, the calmness and happiness arise out of observing, observing this uh, physical sensation, which is, uh, yeah. And, um, and also for the bodily contemplation, eh, I'm thinking about this uh, 32 parts of the body. If you are doing this 32 parts of the body, you know, maybe you feel disgusted. Okay, so this observation of the 32 parts of the body is, of course, is kaya nupasana. But the, the, the disgusted, of course, is a mental state. But the feeling come, come out from this uh, disgusted feeling, it will be unpleasant uh, feeling. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think in meditation, it's also important for us to, to see the difference between the kaya, the feeling, and especially our perception. Because as now Mante also said that, Perception and feeling always come together. So it seems that you are you are combining the two now, perception and feeling. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyone else has anything to say? Okay. Let me comment down before we go on to the next uh, section. <coughs> when you are watching your body, bodily sensations. Okay. When you start to sit. The bodily sensations are already there, right or not? For example, right now, if you are aware of your buttocks in contact with your seat, you will know that there are sensations there, right? But after you sit there and uh, not moving for some time, the sensations will get stronger and stronger, right? Now, the hardness is there, but it gets harder and harder and harder. And then at that th point of time, then uh, it becomes Vedana, becomes more, uh, like, like I said earlier, according to Abhidhamma, the body consciousness has two types of Vedana, either Sukha or Dukkha. So initially, when you can bear with it, you know, it's Sukha, right? It's comfortable. Then after some time, you know, it becomes uncomfortable. All right? But that is only the body consciousness. The hardness is there. The hardness has increased in, in intensity. If you are watching the hardness increasing in intensity, that's kaya nupasana. When you are aware of the unpleasant feeling, that's vedana nupasana. Okay, that's connected with the body. Right, and then your mind reacts to it. Your mind doesn't like that feeling. Then that, uh, together with that, men that mental state of disliking, there arises a feeling which is unpleasant. Okay, so that is a mental unpleasant feeling that has resulted as a reaction 
through the bodily unpleasant feeling. Can you see that? That's why in one sutta called the Salla Sutta, the Buddha talks about, uh, gave a simile of a dart or an arrow. You know, if a marksman were to shoot an arrow at a uh, bull's eye, and then he follows that immediately by another arrow that, that penetrates the same spot, that's a double arrow. And he says, <coughs> he uses that simile to describe um, the practice of an uninstructed worldling and that of an instructed disciple of the Noble One. For an uninstructed or uninformed worldling, he would normally react to painful bodily sensations negatively in the mind. Right? Not, for example, if you, um, if you step upon uh, a thorn, you will feel very painful. Yeah, for normal people, they will feel angry over the pain, over the pain, and they might even, you know, blame themselves. How, how can I be so careless? Why didn't I look properly? You know, regret and anger, and say that that some that somebody should have cleaned the road. Why didn't they clean the road? Always blame, blaming somebody. <laughs> okay, so there is a lot of reactions following that simple, um, physical, painful sensation, right? All these mental reactions following following that painful physical reaction, uh, physical uh, sensation are additional, you know, they are compounded feelings. Uh, that is how the, the mind of an uninformed or uninstructed worlding works. But the mind of an instructed or informed disciple of the Noble One will not react negatively to that pain. You know, when there's a painful bodily feeling he just, the mind is able to stay composed and observe it without reacting, it, reacting to it in a negative way. Which means to say, there is no mental unpleasant feeling as a result of uh, physical unpleasant feeling. Okay? Now, this is something that uh, uh, Arahans, uh, Anagamis and Arahans uh, this is uh, the, the part of the nature of an arahant or an anagami. They have no longer any uh, mental displeasure. Right? So for an anagami or an arahant, you know, when they get terminal cancer and they suffer a lot physically, there is no mental pain. Right? For, uh, whereas for people who have, uh, who have not uh, reached those stages, even a sotapan and a sagadagami, if they are not properly uh, trained in their meditation, not well developed in their meditation, they could still react you know, to physical pain. So when you're watching pain in your meditation, uh, to repeat, first of all, it is just physical sensations. When physical sensations like hardness or heat uh, are bearable, you don't look at them in terms of pain. You know, they are just physical sensations. Then later, when the hardness becomes unbearably hard, or the heat, you know, be coagulates into a lump and it's like poking you, uh, then at that point of uh, time, you label it as pain and you dislike it, all right? If you don't dislike it, but you, you know that it's a painful sensation, you step back and you can look at it, you know, then uh, there's only the physical, men uh, physical painful sensation, but there's no mental painful uh, feeling. Okay, can you understand? <coughs> so it's, uh, it's a very fine line, you know, when you really do your meditation, when you come to pain next time, look very closely. Are you looking at pain? Uh, are you doing Kaya Nupasana or are you doing Vedana Nupasana? You can see that the mind actually flips from one to another. You know, sometimes it's, it's just watching the, the sensations, you know, sometimes it's watching the pain in the body and sometimes it's watching the reaction in the mind. Sometimes when you see the reaction in the mind, you're able to step back and let go and then you go back to the body and you're going back between sensation and painful feeling. Sensation, painful feeling. Yeah, and you may come to a, such a, a point whereby you don't even label it as a painful feeling anymore. As uh, our, our brother said just now, you know, it's also due to perception. Yeah, if it's something you don't like, you say it's painful. Okay, so you might go beyond that perception and just see feeling as feeling and sensation as sensation. Okay? Uh, 
I have a question just for curiosity because uh, based on the classification, you said uh, the other four senses door, like the eyes, ears, uh, it, it will be like the feelings arise uh, because of the context of the eyes. Okay, so I would say it's something condition. This uh, this seeing conditions. Of course, there is perception, uh, the unpleasant or pleasant feelings to arise. But for the physical feeling, the kaya vidana that you said, it looks to me like it's not. Uh, it's like intrinsic in the physical sensation itself. So it's it's like insep inseparable. Uh, cannot be separated. The physical sensation and the painful feeling. It's like uh, cannot be separated. It's not born because of this. <laughs> yeah, but that's based on your own uh, perception that uh, you know feelings c connected with the four senses are due to perception. That's what you feel. But according to the Abhidhamma. He says that uh, every consciousness has got uh, Vedana and Sanya. All right? And that uh, Vedana that arises together with any of the four sense consciousness is intrinsic. It is intrinsic and is not due to your perception. Although it may sound like it's due to the perception bec uh, in the way it's phrased. Because in Pali it says, Chakku. Sampasaja Vedana. Vedana born of contact with the eye. Born of eye contact. Yeah. Um, <coughs> but in in the same in the same uh, way you could also say that consciousness, eye consciousness arises out of Chaku Sampasa. It arises out of contact. You know? When the eye comes into contact with the eye uh, with the visual object, then consciousness arises. Yeah, the, and Contact in, in the suttas means the confluence of the three. You know, it's not that the eye is one thing, con uh, then the eye object is another, and then contact is another, and then uh, eye consciousness is another. No. When the eye comes into contact with the eye object, then eye consciousness arises, and the three of them is called contact. Right. I, I don't know whether you can, you can uh, uh, picture that because it is not linear, you know. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a linear idea. Can you, can you picture that? Yeah, the confluence of the three is called contact itself. Yeah? And according to Abhidhamma, it's uh, intrinsic. Just like body, la, body is intrinsic. But each one of us has is his, own, his or her own level, or his or her own threshold level. Yeah, sometimes you know uh, some people can sit for half an hour without shifting their posture, without feeling any any uh, you know any pain. Whereas some people after fifteen minutes, you know, will start to feel uncomfortable already. Uh, so that one is also very personal. I don't know whether that answers your question. Uh, well my my understanding is that it's not it does not really depend on your sanya. We will come to this later also when we touch on Madhu Pindika Sutta in the Majjhima Nikaya where the Buddha talks about uh, how um, feeling and perception and thoughts are related to this contact between the, sense, the senses and their objects and consciousness. <laughs>